This is a long-term project. Um, <clears throat> it's not about just coming here and playing and that's it, it's over. I think uh, there are ambitions in the club that I share. Uh, and you know, I decided to, to be part of the club as well, investing in it. And um, you know, I believe that uh, it's going to grow so much in the future. And uh, being here from the start would be, you know, something special. And uh, you know, talking to, to Dennis and to, to the owner, uh, they showed me their, their ambitions, their plans of future. And uh, you know, that's that's what I was looking for now. You said that England remains inside of you. Could we see you back in England in the future, potentially as a coach or a manager? When I become a coach, uh, as I always said, I think uh, the Premier League is, is it's been my league. It's where I enjoyed uh, my best football, my best years, where people respect me so much. They, you know, I, I feel really, really loved uh, in England, and it's something that, of course, in the future, I would like. Uh, I would like to try. Uh, why not? But uh, you know. First things first, let's go take one step at a time and you know I'm here to, to do well for Como. It's a beautiful project and let's see where, where we go from there. But long term, a Premier League manager, that will be the ambition? I'd love to, yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. This would be, if I can look a target uh, in some years to come, definitely this is, this is in my head. And talking of the Premier League, a, a quick word on the summer that's gone. Arsenal are, are rebuilding. What do you make of the job that Mikel Arteta is doing there? Are they on the, the right track to, to challenge for titles again, do you think? I mean, I think Mikel is doing a good job. I think Edu is doing a fantastic job. Not only for what they're doing, if not... Because when we talk about football people, and that's what I was talking about before uh, with people like Dennis, Edu is a football man and, uh, and he's had the patience and he knows exactly what it takes sometimes to, to, to build a project. You know, it doesn't, you, you cannot do it in one day, in two days. Sometimes uh, the market doesn't allow you to get the, the right player. Sometimes, uh, you know, you are too young to compete as it happened uh, at Arsenal during, during one or two years. But I think now they are matured. The younger players are not younger, not, not so young anymore. Uh, you know, I see a different face. They signed very well. They strengthened the team in certain areas that they were struggling, and uh, I'm really looking forward to a season because it's 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 really exciting. And finally, do you think Chelsea could be up there as well? One of your other clubs. It's been a a difficult year for them, hasn't it? Yeah, many things have happened. Of course, uh, changing the owner, it's it's always tough. Uh, Roman has been outstanding. You know, uh, the football club. Uh, he's invested uh, time, money, and and and. and and knowledge, you know, is there's so many good people around the club. Is and the, the thing about Chelsea is that they are obliged to to win, you know, at least to to be competing always. Because I was there for five years, and then the mentality and the mindset there is is to win, to win, and to win. And that's what I loved about the place, you know. And uh, whatever, whether they are playing so well or maybe not so well, whether they are up or down, they are always there at the end of the day. And um, you know, that uh, always makes me happy for sure.